And we begin tonight with the developing story out of Washington, where the Senate has voted to end Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Blake McCoy. The president says he will sign that repeal next week, allowing gays and lesbians to serve openly in the U.S. military for the first time. Action News reporter Marco Villarreal is live in the newsroom with more. Marco. Hey Blake, well for 17 years that policy has been in place, but discrimination for homosexuals serving this country went beyond that. Today, gays serving in the military looking to a future, look to a future where their achievements define who they are and not their sexual orientation. For several months, the topic has been one of national debate. Politicians and government leaders argued over what it would mean to repeal the policy of don't ask, don't tell. Opponents argued it would weaken our armed services, while supporters said it would do the opposite. Even even several military leaders spoke out against the policy in place. The House first passed the bill earlier this week, and this afternoon, the Senate passed the bill with a vote of 65 to 31. Las Vegas gay rights activist and former military officer John Teresa says this major step will enable change for the better in the armed services. And the folks who were against it, almost all of them don't know somebody who's gay. So as soon as they meet somebody who's gay and they find out, hey, this guy's really good at his job and he doesn't care about, you know, X, Y, and Z, they're going to go, oh, well, I guess this really was no big deal. You know, uh, so there's going to be some of those aha moments that are going to be happening throughout the military structure for a couple of years. And since the don't ask, don't tell policy went into place, more than 13,000 service members have been kicked out. President Obama is expected to sign the bill early next week. In the newsroom, Marco Villarreal, Channel 13, Action News. Marco, thank you. And both of Nevada's senators voted to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Here's Harry Reid speaking on the Senate floor. Repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell is the right thing to do. And if that were the only argument, that would be enough. But it's more than that. Repealing this policy will make our military stronger. Senator John Ensign was also one of eight Republicans to break ranks and vote for the repeal. He issued a statement saying, It is my firm belief that any American wishing to fight and potentially die for this great country ought to be able to do so regardless of sexual orientation.